Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to go over the uh, Community Crunch 427 uh, before they release the 428 this weekend. Um, it looks like by the very first thing, they're advertising the Ark Extinction Ascended December 16th, 2024. So that'll be kind of a pretty cool right before Christmas map drop. Merging of the Adrenaline, uh, emerging from the Adrenaline of the Aberration Ascended, we're here to announce the next thrilling chapter in the Ascended Saga, Ext Extinction Ascended. Uh, I think they have, yeah, the Bob's Tall Tales, yeah, Wasteland, yep, so this is part three of the Bob's Tall Tales. Um, joining the fray is the latest community voted cream, the Dread Dreadnoughtus, a true titan killer, this massive beast lives up to its name taking. Um, taking on the biggest threats with the platform saddle large enough to carry your artillery and the ability to spit acid coated projectiles. The Dreadnoughtus will be your ultimate ally for taking on the Titans of Extinction. All right. So, we got live ops, they got uh, post launch patches, custom cosmetic updates. Oh, the AMD driver fix. No, oh, that's just the beta driver. Uh, so you can download it through a link. Um, yeah, so they're boosting rates for the uh, official network from September 20 to 23. That's past. Yeah, they really don't give you a lot of time for that. Is it just? Do they do it for just the weekend then? That the uh, so Friday, Friday to Monday. I mean, not really too big of a community crunch i know the let's take a look take a look at this guy so the dread nautis what's arc what's arc doing with it be the titan slayer all right okay so here we go that's a uh, I was newly described, newly described fossil genius in my day. So they got like the dossier, the little note. Information is currently unknown because it is unreleased and not yet in the game. So uh, walking uh, mortar, according to his dossier, carry artillery on his back, making it helpful in range attacks. Wonder if this is going to be, if it's going to be able to be used like for cannon raiding or something too. That would be kind of interesting. Uh, for information, right, the species name. Jeez. Yeah, that'll be that'll be a pretty sweet one. So, yeah, so I was the Extinction Community Creature winner. Yeah, so they don't really have too much on it, but it sounds like they're going to have a platform saddle for it. Um, and... I'm guessing it's going to probably have a decent amount of health if it's going to be able to uh, take on the Titans. Here, let's take a look at the Community Crunch 387. They kind of go over. I think this is one at one. Yep. Curse for our, yeah. Uh, newly described fossil. All right, so, yep, so this is the dossier domesticated. Once tamed, the Dreadnoughtus will gladly shoulder your heaviest artillery and carry it and you into battle on a platform big enough to earn that dreadnought name your walking war machine will sh will swallow boulders or cannonballs to spit back up as acid coated ammo so yeah so i wonder if like you can take those cannonballs i wonder if the acid coated is going to do like um, damage over time to metal structures maybe i mean that'd be pretty interesting if you're going to war with titans that just makes sense we're here a titanic creature with a grudge against them your dreadnoughtus ally may go down fighting but not before softening up the adversary for a killing blow best of luck and give them hell for me so yeah so sounds like yeah it's health will be pretty good but it probably won't be able to survive it says might might go down fighting but yeah the swallowing of the boulders and cannonballs to spit back up as acid coated ammo that will be interesting to see how that gameplay function works um i know also i'll flip over here to the 
Arc official Discord. I know they were they were pumping out pumping out some fixes here. We'll kind of go through some of the latest patches and kind of issues and fixes they had. So yeah, so on these so on the 19th they pushed out a minor version for servers and then they rolled it back because they were having issues with the lag and aberration. And then they rolled back the client one, reverted to a previous client one. And then they had a minor version for Steam clients fixed from crashing. Uh, so on the 23rd, so like four days later, they added additional debug logging for crashes. So this was just a version for the Steam client, nothing for the uh, consoles. And then on the 24th, so two days ago, they had the uh, version 53.1, which was a Steam client. And an Xbox and PlayStation client, which was a nice, nice update for them. A uh, major version for servers and clients. So they added a view trait button to the creature inventory screen. Uh, fixed being able to, unable to deploy giant beef from cryopod. Fixed an issue that caused players to kill. I mean, there's, there's lots of, lots of stuff. The light, oh, the light flickering. Okay. Yep. That was something that was definitely, definitely messing with me. Uh, Fixed being unable to equip a torch while mounted. Uh, fixed the camera breaking when toggling a photo mode. Yeah, so there was a lot of issues with the Rockwell boss fight. So it looks like they fixed boss fight not increasing the level. Uh, boss fight cut screen occurring too early. Gosh, they had a lot of issues with that. Getting stuck at the end of the credits. Shoulder path disappearing after ascension. Fixed a crash that occurred on Aberration Rockwell when watching all the cutscenes. Uh, all right, they fixed the Reaper Queen's impregnation attack when the server's under stress, which is pretty much always. Reaper pregnancy buff timer. Um, oh, I guess I didn't notice that. Mushroom brew recipe was disappearing from cookers. Cosmo's helmet now displays correctly. Scan and position on shoulder of different sized characters. Oh, it could over encumber itself in butler mode. Well, that was, that's funny. Now, uh, Zeppelin not taking radiation damage correctly in some cases. Holy smokes. Yeah, they, they fixed a ton of them. Treasure map spawned in unplayable spaces. Uh, fixed the catapult not dealing damage on multiplayer servers. I wonder if that's the the crab. They were having issues with the catapult. You couldn't do uh, damage with the cr damage of the crab. People were having to use the... Uh, cannon, which was actually then very difficult because a lot of times it would kill the crab. And it's a lot more expensive. Carl pods disabled and display cases decay when removed after a long time. Fixed camera stuttering when climbing walls with the Megalania. Oh, I forgot about the Megalania. Uh, Yeah, fix some audio issues with player emotes. Uh, being able to throw out cryopotted dinos in the underwater. Oh, not fixed. Being unable to throw out. So now, I guess in the air bubbles, you can throw the dinos out. Oh, and I got more continued from above. Texture and aberration. Incorrect texture on the island. I wonder if those, if they mean that by like uh, fixing mesh areas. Uh, fix placing turrets on the ceiling border in, on aberration. Oh, jeez. Fix multiple server crashes. All right, so wind turbine balance changes. All right, so this is for PvP most likely. Wind turbines no longer take damage from flame arrows. The clock face stack size has been reduced from 100 to 5. Clock face stack size? Huh. So so you prob must only be able to stack so many of them. Oh, stack size. Okay, no, the stack size. They're talking about how they, so they used to stack 100 in a stack in the vaults. Now it's five. Okay. Decrease Pyromane's drag weight to 149. Now able to be bolded. That's, that is going to be huge. Pyromane can be bolded now. No way. I mean, that's, I think that's great news for, for the PvP. Reduced Pyromane's damage scaling by approximately 20%. Okay, so it's 20% weaker. Increased Pyromane's dash cooldown from 6. So they doubled the cooldown timer. 
reduced wild pyromane spawns on aber aberration by 75%, so it'll be even harder to get. I don't think they should be on aberration to begin with, but reduce the Karcha's healing per blood rage stack by 20%. Some official server saddle armor clamp adjustments have made. All right. So the stego is being, the saddle cap is being decreased, was 124, now it's 74.5. So the stegos are going to deal more, take more damage. Increase the trike saddle cap from, okay, so the trikes are going to take less damage. Pachyorhinosaur, pretty much the trike. Uh, and then uh, Dodecuria Dode saddle cap from, okay, so he's going to take less damage. Okay, so yeah, so they're doing some some big PvP type adjustments right there. All right, and then yesterday they rolled out a minor version for servers, addressed the issue causing high ping on aberration servers. All right, minor version for Xbox clients, fixed the crash related to Pyromain. So that was that was pushed out yesterday at 6:30 p.m. So yeah, so so this yeah, so this here. Yeah, these these all came with the Xbox. Yeah, the console console got all of these. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. These balance changes right here. These are gonna be big for the PvP. I know there's a lot of people playing with the, against those pyromains on aberration, and I I think this this bola ability is gonna be just a game changer. Yeah, the fact that now as a per, someone riding the pyromain, they can get bolad bolad and they can get bullet on their pyromane bullet. That's going to be huge. That's going to kind of flip the dynamic a little bit on that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have some more videos coming out, some PVE uh, gameplay and some PVP. We've been playing on uh, Blur's Fibercraft. We've been playing on the old ASE version, um, kind of just doing that, kind of a just chill kind of raid and soak and PVP type stuff and don't know if we're going to play on it for the next season, but for this season, we're we're kind of playing on it. Uh, afterwards, we might decide to play again on the wipe or rotate to a different type of PvP map. But for right now, that's what we got going. Um, the Your New Home PvE servers um, are all currently updated. Aberration has been opened up to uh, transfers um, through all the maps. Um, we do have... Um, the plans in the future to add a pvp server um mixed in with it but once again we just got to get our pve um population up so if you want to come and join and prep for getting in on that pvp action and earning some good loot and dinos and stuff that way um now's your chance to get in on the server and start getting your stuff together so um oh you can find all that information down in the uh info down in the description of the video here. I appreciate your subscription, your likes, and uh, any comments that you have of the next videos. Appreciate it. We'll see you later. Bye.